This pitching mound is 45 feet from home plate, specific to girls softball. This is a brand new girls softball field, and it has a far reaching message. As she looks around, Reina Delgado doesn't know <laughs> quite what to say. Because the new softball field is yet to be completed, it's her first time on it. It's, it's a nice change. Reina is a senior and probably won't get to play on the field. And we just have to roll up the fences after games. But stuff. her younger sister will. Now we have um, room in the dugouts, you know, on our own. This project, this softball field you're looking at right now, took three years in the making. Superintendent Matt Doyle said the project started around the same time a Vista Unified student complained about inferior facilities, equipment, and treatment softball players were given compared to boys' sports programs. Since then, Doyle said the district has been working with the California Women's Law Center to make changes. As soon as it was brought to our attention, uh, we investigated it. We determined uh, what needed to change, and we quickly jumped on that change. We didn't really have um, the, the best quality compared to men's. Um, although we had the same facilities, it wasn't, it wasn't at the same level, and so I think since then it has improved substantially and not just when it comes to softball. The field is part of a multi-use sports complex for both men and women's sports. Field hockey, soccer, tennis, track and field. So I do shot put and discus and we have been dying to get a new um, discus field and one that's separated from softball, no um, no like threats to injuring them um, and so it's great that we finally have a new one and I'm, I'm really excited to try it out next year. We don't back away from challenges. This was a challenge. We took it head on and we want to make sure our female athletes get what they deserve to be successful athletes and successful scholars. A softball field with a far-reaching message. Equal access. Rory Devine, NBC7.